Seems the latest office trend these days eases into the work week by doing less. It's called bare minimum Mondays. Michael George explains it's not about slacking, it's about self-care. Marissa Jo Mays came up with a solution to the dreaded start of the work week. This video is permission to do the absolute bare minimum today. The self-employed digital creator and startup co-founder practices bare minimum Mondays. You used to hate Mondays, but now you love them. From her home in Phoenix, Mays keeps the first two hours of her Monday free and schedules only three tasks for the day. It was like some kind of sorcery had happened. As soon as the pressure was gone, I was more productive than I'd been in a long time. You'd make a to-do list that was way too long thinking you could overachieve your way out of the stress, but you never did. Mays promoted the concept with TikTok videos and they went viral. People relate to the stress that I'm describing and the overwhelm that I'm describing. And when they hear about the changes that I feel now, they want in. Bare Minimum Mondays is the latest strategy to combat ever increasing work burnout. According to the job search engine and review site Glassdoor, the phrase mental health in company reviews jumped 91% from 2019 to 2022. Burnout mentions were up 42% in that same time. Now workers are experimenting more with boundaries. If employers are concerned about how this is playing out in the workplace, it's a great time to reopen the discussion about how burnout is affecting employees. While the bare minimum approach isn't possible for all workers, Mays says there are ways everyone can improve their day. It's really asking these questions that can start to get people thinking about themselves as also a human in addition to an employee. And it's working. And that doing less can be more. Michael George, CBS News, New York.